Anyway, anyway, five, Rensselaer police say they are not surprised that Robert Fisher died at the Elmira Correctional Facility this week. That breaking update was first on 13 last night. Fisher only spent a few weeks behind bars after he was just convicted of murdering and raping little Josephina Cunningham. She was just three years old. News Channel 13's Tessa Bentulin is now here live with us to share what police told her today. Tessa. Hi, Rachel and Steve. Well, the Rensselaer police chief says they were informed about Fisher's death, but they're in the dark when it comes to how Fisher died. That's being investigated by the Department of Corrections and Community Services. Police Chief Warren Famigletti says it's a difficult situation for everybody involved because of the trauma this horrific death has for the family and the investigators who worked closely on this case. Hearing about Fisher's death brings that trauma back for so many. Fisher's death comes six weeks after he was just sentenced to 20 years to life in prison for Josephina Cunningham's death. He pled guilty to raping and killing little Josephina here on your screen in Rensselaer in July 2023. The details of Josephina's attack are horrific. In court, we learned Fisher drugged Josephina before raping her, then tried to cover it up and what he'd done by taking Clorox wipes and scrubbing her face. He scrubbed her face so hard that he burned the pigment right off her face. Chief Family Letty says to make sure everyone, he wants to make sure everyone knows of the terrible things Fisher did to Josephina. Did you expect this death to come? Uh, we didn't not expect it, right? Uh, it's a horrific crime. Everybody knows what he did. Uh, so we didn't expect him to have a smooth time in prison. Coming up live at 6 o'clock, the conversation a Rensselaer police investigator had with Josephina's father after learning about Fisher's death. Rachel and Steve. It's just an Only on Christ 17 TV, back upside your head with another one. Today we got a sad story with a happy ending. We got a, first of all, we're going to Arizona today. Arizona's the place. They got a piece of shit guy who drugged, raped, and murdered a beautiful little three-year-old girl. What a piece of shit this guy is. So... He gets convicted of 20 years to life. Now, let me let me stop right there, okay? What kind of fucking judge gives this guy a chance to parole after 20 years? That shit is out of pocket. This guy drugged, raped, and murdered a little three-year-old girl. This motherfucker should get a thousand years. No parole, no nothing, no nothing. A thousand fucking years for the horrific crime he did to that beautiful little, little girl, first of all. Second of all, he's only been in, they said, Elmira Correction Facilities in Arizona for a few weeks before he got killed. <laughs> See, sometimes it takes the inmates to give the justice the judge won't, Okay. You're absolutely giving this guy a chance to parole after 20 years is fucking crazy to me after the shit he did. You want somebody like that to come back into society and maybe do this shit again 20 years from now? No, thank you. You know how devastating that is to, to the parents of that little girl? What happened to their baby at the hands of this monster? So... He goes in jail. First of all, the chief, with that smirk on his face, he's happy that guy's dead. He's, he probably got little girls of himself. That's one time I'm like, heard the chief, he smiled and said, well, we, we knew it wasn't going to be a nice time for him. And that's what he gets. But the inmates who did this, thank you so much for, for taking out a scumbag, a piece of shit that we don't need on this earth. You do something like that to anybody. Child, lady, old lady, little boy, whoever. You don't deserve to be around, period. And I guess they must have put him on the general pop yard. 
Or he might might have refused PC, but I'll tell you this. Them inmates didn't take long to give some justice to that little girl family. I, I will tell you that. A few weeks and he's dead. Oh, well, we don't know how he, you know how he dead. Investigate nothing. That shit is, they're not going to investigate that. They don't give a fuck about some piece of shit, child molest, murderer, child killer who got what he deserved. That's what you get. And it's fucked up that the inmates got to do, got to get a justice that, that the judge can't. That shit should have been straight death penalty. Death penalty. You see how beautiful that little girl was? Three years old, a bundle of fucking joy. And some piece of shit guy like this drugs the little baby, rapes her, and then kills her, and then put Clorox on her face where her skin was coming off. And you're going to give a guy like that a chance to parole after 20 years. That judge need to be fired. Absolutely fired. That is, that's, that's, that's crazy to me. But Arizona, Elmira Correction Facilities, I guess they don't play like that. And that's good because nobody should play like that. And when they put a piece of shit like that with you on the yard, yeah, he's not going to last long. Then when they find out your charges, you're a child killer, a child rapist, and the horrific stuff you did to this little girl, yeah, you got to go. We ain't, we ain't finna uh, <laughs> be on the same yard as nobody like you, and even in a PC yard, that you're probably going to get killed, any yard you go to. So, justice has been served. They'll never get their little girl back, but the piece of shit who did it got killed in prison and they didn't waste no time, which is a great thing. Which is a great thing. Why have a motherfucker like that walk in the compound and being able to eat and sleep and shower and talk on the phone or do whatever he's going to do, a piece of shit like that. And I'm just happy that they got to him and didn't allow him to live his life while that little girl is dead and she had to suffer from the hands of a fucking monster doing horrific stuff to a child, scrubbing her face with Clorox so her skin would come off, or you suck fucking piece of shit. Shit pisses me off, but you know what? The chief is happy. I saw that smirk. I saw that smirk. I'm absolutely happy. I ran across this story this morning, and I thought, you know what? I want to speak on this one for sure. Because this is the type of shit that needs to happen to guys who do, not guys, monsters, evil motherfuckers who do shit like this to children. There's no place for them in our community, in our jails, on this fucking earth. For people who do m horrific crimes to children or women, period. Or little boys, or men, or whoever. Drugging people, raping them, killing them. Just drugging and raping, period, like Puff Daddy. That piece of shit, he's got so many victims, I'm losing count. And this is just, you know, like I say, I, I gotta keep saying this. Salute to the inmates, whoever did this. I don't promote violence, but I promote justice. So this here is justice. This ain't no promoting violence. This is justice. Street justice, however you want to call it. This is how you do things. Other countries, people do that to fucking kids. They get killed on the spot. U.S., they want to give you 20 years and give you a chance to parole. And if you're doing good behavior, he might be out in 15 for doing something like this. Are you fucking kidding me? Why don't you give in other crimes all day? Motherfucker get fucking caught with all kind of drugs. You're giving him more time than you would give a guy that rapes and kills a fucking child. Are you kidding me? It's crazy to me. It is crazy to me, and I'm just so glad 
that there's not this guy walking the earth no more. Sounds fucked up, but nah. It sounds like the right thing happened. And they did the right thing that the judge couldn't do. The judge was actually giving this guy a second chance at life. 20 years from now, 17 years from now, he would be up for a chance to parole. Not saying he would get it, but there would be a slight chance he might. And how would that be to that family that, that a, a guy that did this horrific crime to the little, beautiful, little three-year-old girl would actually have a chance to be free again and maybe do this to somebody else's child? That's insane. He got what he got, and they gave it to him quick. They didn't waste no time. And I'm glad. I'm absolutely ecstatic. Justice has been served for the baby. Name was Jocelyn, beautiful little girl, three years old, bundle of joy. That Them parents will never be the same. But learning that the person who did that to the daughter got to give them a little bit of ease. Knowing that this piece of shit will never do this to anybody else's child ever again. And I just, you know, I'm just, I'm just like, damn, that's great. Because usually they put these motherfuckers in PC, somewhere where they'll never get touched with other sick motherfuckers like them. And they don't get touched. And it's fucking horrible. But this time we got a happy ending to a very sad story. And I can't do nothing but smile neither. Because that piece of shit got what he deserved and what he had coming. And for those guys who did it to him, salute, man. Keep up the good work. Keep doing keep doing the work that the judge ain't doing. Because he's allowing these guys to have a hope of seeing the streets again. And maybe doing a, even, even something worse than the shit he went to jail for. Because... These guys like this, they, they don't change. This is who they are. This is the M-fucking-O. And this is what they'll do if they get released a again. And somebody made sure they ain't gonna fucking get released. And gave them the business. I don't know how he got killed, stabbed, hung, drugged. Whatever they did to him, he deserved it. And that is justice. It's pretty much all I got. Sad story. Beautiful little girl. And she got her justice. 20 years to life is not no justice. Him being killed, absolute justice. So with that being said, this is Christ 17 TV. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. It won't cost you a dime. And like I tell you, every time around this time, people like that do not deserve to walk this earth. When people hurt children, women, elderly, and do brutal crimes like this, horrific shit, drugging a little three-year-old, and raping a baby, what, how the fuck do you fucking, how do you even go about doing some shit like that? That is insane. That's insane, man. It's sad, but at the end, he got dealt with, and that's all that counts, man. So, with that being said, man, this shit is sad. I'm glad the guy's gone. I'm glad Elmira Correction Facilities solved the problem of this piece of shit predator, rapist killer, and dealt with him. Justice has been served, and I will catch you on the flip side.